What's up, smarty people? It's KeysDan, RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com, Keys Dan Show, with some news, some more Middle East war news. Hamas says Israeli hostages won't be returned soon after Sinwar's death. Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar was confirmed killed by Israeli forces in Gaza, leading to a statement from the militant group that hostages taken from Israel will not be released until a ceasefire in Gaza and withdrawal of Israeli troops occurs. The killing of Sinwar, a key figure in last year's attacks in southern Israel, could potentially shift the dynamics of the conflict in Gaza. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin expressed hope for a ceasefire and negotiations following Sinwar's death, calling it an opportunity for a change in direction. Israel has vowed to destroy Hamas politically in Gaza, and Sinwar's killing was a top military priority for them. In response to Sinwar's death, Hezbollah in Lebanon has continued to fire rockets into Israel using new types of precision-guided missiles and explosive drones. Israel has activated additional reserve troops to support its forces in southern Lebanon, where clashes with Hezbollah are ongoing. In the midst of these developments, there are mixed reactions from various parties. The Israeli government, as well as families of hostages held in Gaza, hope for a restart in negotiations now that Sinwar is no longer an obstacle. However, the situation remains volatile with continued attacks and clashes between Israeli forces and Hezbollah fighters in Lebanon. Overall, the death of Yahya Sinwar has created a complex and uncertain situation in the region with potential opportunities for peace negotiations, but also ongoing violence and conflict. It remains to be seen how these developments will impact the trajectory of the conflict in Gaza and the broader Middle East region. Stick around for more. It's Keys Dan, RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com. Peace in the Middle East. I'm out of here.